<laughs> Welcome to the World Genius oh, TV wait, Show. Oh, wait, I stopped recording. Oh, my <laughs> God. Those, those. <laughs> And we're recording. Welcome to the World Genius uh. TV Show. Can you play some sounds? Play, push them all. Yeah, hang on. That's Which one's one. that? Which sound is it? Can you describe it to us? The whole intro. <laughs> oh, nice. That's a good one. Uh, oh, yes, the, the preloaded red switch. Guys. New angle. We're trying out new things for when we have a guest. I can sit in this cut chair, but you know, you win some, you dim some. That's what I always say. Chase is back with us. Yo, what up? Acting weird. Um, <laughs> well, we've got so much to do today. We, or uh, should I say, we have so much Tay do today. Oh, wow. The camera's pretty far, so they might not be able to see that. This is a Tay do list. Um, Taylor Swift to do list. Is that your first page you filled out? Yeah. Wow, nice. I'm What'd gonna start writing it? I'm gonna start writing down all of our topics and things that we we're doing. Dude, are you fucking serious, dude? What? What? That's um, fucking crinkling, man. I you're it's crinkling in the, in the mic. You're lucky Andrew. No, to... you can. You're lucky Andrew's not here because that would be a fucking problem mm -hmm. if Andrew. Was what here. are you? Yeah, what's going on over there? <laughs> you're not allowed to sit in my chair. You're gonna get make a mess. <laughs> what is man? that even? Is that a coconut? Is that coconut? <laughs> oh my Why god. Why did you dude. do this? This was like all <laughs> weird, like plan. You th ew, dude. Is it coconut or not? <laughs> Yeah, it's coconut. <laughs> Fucking coconut. Am I allowed to have refreshments? <laughs> <laughs> he brought a magazine. He brought a magazine. <laughs> well, just in case our conversations get too boring. Last time I just was very brief. I thought I'd be a little more comfortable this time. Brought okay. A couple of refreshments. I don't know how long these things are. Could be trapped in here for eternity. I'm going to have to boost this guy. What's on the Tay Do for today? For us to Tay do, Chase. Um, we're gonna do a painting reveal later. Later on, woo! So cheering. Chase made his debut because he insulted the art, the piece of art that's behind me right now. I'm gonna replicate that. You guys won't be able to tell the difference. <laughs> and we said, "Yeah, do it. Do it yourself." And he did it. And so we're gonna compare this painting to Chase's recreation. I don't like of that. It. I can't see where his eyes are while he's <laughs> sucking on that thing, dude. And uh, yeah, on a lot of people have been begging for Chase to come back. Chase, are you? We have theories that you're behind some God. of these accounts. Nope. I was planning on making some accounts and doing exactly that, but the people did it for for me. The, wow. Really I, don't know if, I don't know natty. if Chase is uh, All natty. technologically savvy enough to make a bunch of Google connected <laughs> YouTube no, accounts. He wouldn't do that. He would get real life people to do it. For, he has, I, like a he guy. has he has one. Wait, he has a guy. They've been commenting since that episode? On Andy I mean, yeah. Andy comments for you. Really? Yeah. Some guy from your hometown goes, goes, son of Bring bitch. back Chase. Oh yeah, Qu I'm pretty sure Quaid said bring <laughs> back Chase <laughs> or something. Quaid. I, a friend of ours. Quaid? Quaid, like yeah. Wade with a Q? <laughs> That's a Qua Q U A I D Quaid. Quaalude. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't that his Instagram handle for a while. Quaalude. Yeah. Quaid. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. A good, that's yeah. A good handle. Yeah. Oh, dude, remember what you were saying yesterday in the car? Uh, where you said the first time you saw they them in a bio, you're like. <laughs> I was like, that's a sick bio. I didn't, I didn't, know, what, I didn't know what they them was yet. I was like, that's just cool. That is a really cool bio. I was like, my first time ever experiencing <laughs> pronouns. I was, I was living on a farm by myself, pretty much, pretty isolated for a couple of years. And I went to this group two week retreat thing with a bunch of college students. And we got in a big circle in the beginning and everyone started doing their pronouns and introducing themselves. and. There's like 50 people in the circle, and I'm like, what is that they, them, me? What's he, what are they doing? <laughs> and <they're> like, <laughs> the person next to me is like explaining it, and this is the day after Halloween, and I start thinking about how I was dressed as a fairy for Halloween. And I was like, came up, uh, and when they came up to me, I was like, uh, my name is Chase. 
I'm, I go by he, him, but last night I dressed as a fairy, so I'm not really sure. And I thought it would be hilarious, and nobody laughed. Oh, dude, that was pissed. not funny. Yeah. They were not feeling that. Mm-hmm. You fucked up. That's crazy. I just, I'm going to make sure Johnny's I didn't know it was like quick. a serious thing. <laughs> this was like ten, I am in the eight shot. years ago. You are? Yeah, I can see my hand waving. Wow. Hi. Yeah, so uh, I can scoot we away. brought Peter back, and then Peter took his tripod back. And then <sighs> I go, Johnny, why'd you invite a guy over when he, he Dude, we have one of his things. That, that was the need. craziest part about last week. Peter, like, hit me up to hang out. Andrew didn't know. P- Whoa, historically, that- guys, Peter is an Andrew guy, you know? Like, like Andrew's intern. Peter is, like, <laughs> like... Peter's not around Peter's if Andrew's, Andrew's not Andrew's there. <laughs> um, so it was really crazy. Peter hit me up and came over, and then I thought he had just talked to Andrew, and Andrew was like, oh, like hit up Johnny to just to make sure it's cool. But Peter hit me up and came over, and then Andrew gets here, and he's like, whoa, Peter's here? <laughs> I was like, wait, you didn't know Peter was here? That's crazy. I thought it was really cool of uh, of Peter. I thought it was like a big step for me and Peter, kind of. Yeah, but it turns out you were just a, a conduit for a prank. But why? Yeah. Why would he work around Andrew? I think it's I just think a it was, prank. I think to it was Andrew a prank to like uh, show up yeah. and without Andrew knowing. Yeah, you see. But he didn't even know we were gonna podcast. Holy shit! Uh, this has three hundred milligrams of caffeine. Yeah, yeah wow, it does. that's a hundred more than usual drinks I have. Have you tried the new Monster Orange Cream? <laughs> No, I don't know if no. it's new, but I just had one yesterday. I, have not, I haven't tried that, man. <laughs> and, yeah, there's a whole case of them. They look new <clears throat> at Ace Hardware Store. Yeah, you keep trying to get me to take you there. <laughs> it was the best every time, orange cream every time flavor. I see Chase, he goes, can we go to Ace Hardware? <laughs> like, no, Because of that painting. You guys were supposed to know, sort of assist. We were. I've spent but, like $200 on this. At here's this the point. thing. We went to Home Depot about 50 times in a one-week span building that <laughs> stupid fucking pull-up bar. It's not stupid. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's been life-changing. Dude, I when I went outside to pee for a second, I went out there. And I didn't see it at first, and then I like was like, oh! and then I looked, and it was still there. I was like, did someone steal the pull-up bar? <laughs> <laughs> They'd have what? to dig it up, pretty, and that would take yeah, a long chance. time with a jackhammer. Yeah. The hell, <laughs> donuts? <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> Dude, you got me beat. I had a popsicle. You pull out a whole fucking tray of donuts. You want a donut? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, thank God, finally, because Can these I actually, guys... You know what? Give, give me that one of those Red Bulls, man. These guys <laughs> drink so much beer, they never want a donut. Oh, yeah. my oh, yeah. God. That, wow. I think you should eat that spread. blue one. Yeah, when I, when I drink a That lot, one's for Chase, like that blue either. one. Yeah. That was a you should good, eat that babe. blue one. Faith likes how they like. It's look. normal. You know what's crazy is I I talk to the guy. I'm like, a dozen donuts. I see him fill up the dozen, and he goes, okay, three more. And I'm like, what? Oh! oh! <laughs> three more? Oh, help me. If, is it like uh, a, you buy a dozen, you get three wow, for free? Dude. Or the guy just doesn't know how to count? No, no. He definitely knows how to count. He works at a donut store. <laughs> That's or as two more. So oh, oh, pink one. Wow, wow. cute a pink one. That's for you, Johnny. I'm not gonna eat a um, donut. Here, Chase. Ever. Whatever you want. So uh, what are you, the, I might try just a crispy. Eat the blue one. Eat the blue one, Chase. Hey, that's the blue one. Chase, for eat, later. The, eat the blue the one. Do you want me to eat the, the blue, blue one? Eat it. Eat one, the blue one. one. Eat the blue one, Chase, or I'll freak yeah, out. Yeah, eat the blue one. I can't even reach the blue one, dude. Uh, 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 no, you t- all right, Colin, that's yours now. No, 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 I can't. <laughs> Beer plus donut, not happening. Dude, beer this, is barely happening. This is, I almost died this You guys morning. are actually fucking up by drinking beer because this is a sober guy's fucking dream right now. Energy mm. drinks and donuts. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. That's like Johnny... Te- technically, Johnny lives in a sober household. Technically. On a technical level, besides in his room where we... <laughs> get drunk every day <laughs> um 
<laughs> but these sober people, they got chocolate milk. They've got mm. they've got every other drink. They 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 can mm -hmm. spend as much money on every other type of drink because they don't have to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on beer and tequila. Mm. I went to a wine bar the other day and just spent like eighty dollars on appetizers. They were all like ten dollar appetizers, and I just kept getting mac and cheese, like bruschetta. Freaking some other stuff, and nice. I was just like every one. I was like, "Well, this is the price of a drink," but I was just grubbing hard for like an hour and a half. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> Makes sense. That's Makes cool. Sense. Who? Wow. Who'd you Alone? go to a bar with? With a chick? Mm, I've been there a few times. <laughs> that, that particular wrong, time, I wrong think. answer. <laughs> <laughs> wrong. I can't remember who else with that. Um, I was with someone. Word. But, Lady? Oh, my my buddy Ian. We yeah, Bishop. Buddy Ian. Shout out Ian Bishop. <laughs> okay, so... Not really a last name situation usually, but it don't matter. Someone got kicked out. This guy kind of joined us, and he got asked to leave because he was not being sober. Mm. Oh, so no. Chase is in a sober living He wasn't situation. sober at the mm. wine bar? <laughs> <laughs> no. What an really? asshole. And I explained to him, I was like, he's like, what? You don't drink? And I was he's like, like, I come for like, the why appetizers. Not? He's like, why not? He thought well, he was like sneaking out and gonna. No, I was explaining to him, I was like, because if I was drinking, I probably wouldn't be allowed to come in here. <laughs> 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 and he's like 30 minutes later asked to leave. <laughs> 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 why don't you drink? <laughs> I'll be um, a roommate soon enough. Do, you, do they take guys that are addicted to donuts? <laughs> mm. There, everyone in there is addicted to donuts. Probably. I haven't seen any food addicts yet. That are there just for that. There's been gambler. I played ping pong with a gambler, and quickly realized why he needed to be there. Because really, if he if I won even one turn. He needed it a was, rematch. It was pure rage. <laughs> when I went, I went to treatment with a guy who was addicted to prostitutes. He was a pilot. Nice. That was crazy. Can you imagine how bad your prostitute Dude. addiction has I, to be to like be like fifty and go to fucking well, rehab I with it? The, um, Dude, that's prime like, that's, prostitute that, addict age. Yeah, but that's how you get out of trouble with your family. You go, yeah. okay, I will get help. I don't want to, but I probably should because I have kids. And he was like really argumentative about it too, like really like just not doing the work, you know, to like get better about it. He was just like justifying it and arguing with like in all the groups and how stuff do you about it. Trying to a prostitution addiction. I don't remember his exact arguments, but they were pro they were pretty stupid, and he was just getting <laughs> well, really mad it, it, at the therapist. It's kind of a cultural thing, like prostitution is culturally acceptable in some places and not in others. Yeah, so that but be his I think the, some I, people I don't want think that the right prostitution part is the bad part about the situation. It's the addiction part that's the bad part. That, mm. that he was justifying. Oh, so you're okay with prostitutes? <laughs> Probably, yeah. I, I Colin, was, would you would you care to be our fucking right leaning hammer here and set him straight? I would, one of my best friends. That's in, sex trafficking, and that's something I care about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of my best friends in rehab was like a 50 year old guy who was there because of a DUI, but. So he should have said his problem was alcohol, but he claimed cocaine paid women. Mm. So might be the same guy. Crazy how Chase Maybe. has had like something he a pilot? in his mouth this entire time. Yeah. Was he a pilot? Mm -mm. This guy was a pilot. All right. Well, what's on the Tay Do list, Johnny? The Tay Do list, we've got uh, a uh, Lord of the Rings inspired game. Um, for or well, I guess it's the Hobbit. It's from the Hobbit where uh, Bilbo and Gollum are in a riddle battle, and <laughs> and he goes, and he goes, "What's in my pocket?" Oh, so I have a game. What's in my pocket? Wow! I've been a hint. I've been going through. This is very unfair that you had preparation for this and none of us did. That puts you at a pretty massive that's, advantage. That's the whole point of Bilbo's no, no, no. We're all riddle what's thing. In his pocket. Oh, yeah, I know we're gonna go around in a circle. Oh, we can do that after. But what's okay. uh, for a hint? 
I've been going through my garage. I have a bunch of boxes. Are of we like on a team? All my junk from I forever so. in Are my we on garage. A team? What? No, Chase, you guys you all. Be on a you team guys can. All, you guys can all just guess what's in my pocket. But do you? Well, but if, if, if one, one of us, us guesses, wins, is, a, is it a win for all yeah. three of it's us? It's an accessory. Yeah. It feels I'll like it, we should be on a team because be the odds team. are so the stacked us, against though. us. Yeah. You, yeah, you guys can all just guess. Yeah, but we're on a team right, though so, when we do it, right? So sure. We'll so yeah. Here's where my mind's at. So yeah, like he was saying he's been going through old stuff. So I'm thinking immediately I'm going to the Nintendo 64. He didn't even. No, it's an it's an accessory. He didn't. I said. What is that? Did you finish the accessory? Is a clothing accessory? Is that a clothing yeah. accessory? No, no. It asks if it's his beanie. Thank you. For all Thank you. you out there. Ch Chase is good. Yeah, yeah, Chase, yeah, he knows. You um, watch a lot of say, podcasts, huh? You're going to say I can come back sometime? <laughs> <laughs> um, Faith knows. Glasses. Glasses, no. Faith Okay. okay. Let me, I think for a guy. Are the hints second. done? Are the hints over now? It's an accessory. It's from an your accessory garage. from the past. Twenty questions. We can do twenty questions. <laughs> you gotta stop throwing Faith, hail mary. Stop. <laughs> Let us guess ourselves. It can't even. Good though. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Do right, you guys want to do a twenty question? Yeah. Let's let's do some. Okay. Let's do some twenty. Everyone questions. goes through and asks a question, okay. and then if you have it, you say. It. You do buzz, but buzz, go. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Is it when you say accessory? <laughs> do you mean article of clothing? Yes, kind of. Yeah, like an ex ex an like accessory, a bracelet or hat or uh, something. Yes. Did okay. you wear it at any point while being friends with Joa and I both at the same? Time? No. Is That's it going to make things a little it, hard? Does it belong on the upper half of your body? Yes. Whoa. Ooh, something with nipples. It's not a puka shell necklace. Okay, no let's faith. do a few hey. questions before we keep throwing um, hell marys out yeah. there. Top half of the body. <laughs> uh, shoot, do you guys have Butt any plug. questions you want to shoot out? Okay, it can't be like a grill. I mean, it could be a grill. <laughs> it could be like a teeth thing. Johnny did have a pretty significant grill it, phase, uh, from what I understand. Is it functional he wouldn't accessory have done a grill or when he was purely a child. accessory? It's purely accessory. So is, grills functional. Is it a necklace of some kind? No. <laughs> grills are functional, he said. <laughs> I'm it not keeping if track. If you bite somebody, a grill yeah. would be pretty That's functional. That's like six questions, maybe. Okay. Uh, I think that was does about it four or five. Go above your neck? Go on above no. your neck? So between your neck and your torso. <laughs> or waist. <laughs> is it a cock ring? No. <laughs> okay. It's something to do with what his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> a bracelet? A is ring. It, is it an undershirt? No. Is it's it a ring? It's it's his no. Dad's high school ring. No. And his dad won a football championship or something. That's ten oh, questions. That would be cool. Huh? Slow down, boys. <laughs> well, our questions are just guesses. Yeah. What do now. you? Yeah. Just let us keep guessing. <laughs> What's the point? We have twenty. We have ten more questions. Oh, we have ten. <laughs> um, is is it metal? We're close. No. Close. Is it cloth? Yes. Oh, that's clothing. That's not an accessory. No, it can be. Like a hat's an accessory. Uh, okay. It's huh. in his pocket. I'm not sure of the definition <laughs> of an accessory then. I've got pocket. big pockets too, though. Yeah, he does. I have huge. many pockets. Okay. It's, it's a, a bracelet? Maybe it's a t-shirt. Yes. It's a bracelet. It's a cloth bracelet. Are we supposed to be able to figure this out now? Mm. Cloth, cloth bracelet. bracelet. You, I mean, Johnny I can Depp? just show you now. Oh, it's a cloth bracelet. Yeah, kind of. Uh, I, I love boobies. What? 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 Um, what genre? I can't hear everything. Oh, is it one of the ones you get in Mexico that say "dirty language"? Boom! Whoa, Rastafari. Okay, not bad. Damn. Do you have this more thing. stuff in your pockets? It's no, a Rasta just this. bracelet for the listeners. The yeah, audio yeah. Listeners. Let me wow. let me show the camera real quick. I'll take, we'll take a photo of it. You should send the photo to Andrew and be like, you're going to need this for the new pod. Figure out where this photo goes. <laughs> Possibly between 15 to 25 minutes in. Yeah, my girlfriend just texted me and said, I've been seeing Dylan Sprouse everywhere. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Apparently, yeah. Ooh. You have a girlfriend? Oh. 
Yeah. My okay. Do Why? you know? Okay, so I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about this on the pod, but I sounds like it's meant to be. I, I, I oh, it is this. actually oh, insane. Yeah. Yeah. it is actually just insane, insane, insane that she just texted that because I had a run in, a short stint of seeing a girl that I met actually in a um, mental health facility uh, who has no schi- who has <laughs> schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was always like super, like she was just a totally n- normal person, other than uh, the <laughs> occasional voice voice hearing. She told me funny stuff, like the voices would tell her to steal pa- her neighbor's packages and stuff. And I was like, I think I might have schizophrenia too, because <laughs> um, I have those same voices. Um, but. <laughs> This over the last few days, um, she's clearly Worsened. had some kind of mental break. I haven't talked to her in years, and she sent me walls of text. She ascended, as she, she would say. She, it started out with "I am God," um, and then went into how I am a, a reincarnated s- super angel, which. Everyone knows, super angel. which really Every, went to jo- Johnny's ego. Yeah, everyone he's knows. Been telling everybody he's a super angel. I've been looking days. for a new gamer tag. Mm. Super angel is my new gamer Ooh. tag. What about reincarnated? You didn't want to add that on? No, no. I, I feel like it's kind of sick. That would be cool. I bet super angel's taken. Right? That's got to be. I don't think so. It's it's a it's a. I guess it's like a schizophrenia thing that like. <laughs> You know how, like, when people do DMT, they all have, like, a shared kind of experience of stuff they see? Super Angel, because I had someone respond to my story, because I posted some of the text on my story, that... Someone's uh, like, you're a Super Angel too, dude? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) They were like, oh, my friend, like, I'm pretty sure his ex was schizophrenic and said something about Super Angels as well. So it's possibly true. Maybe true. Colin Colin had the funniest response. Yeah, that makes me think it's true. Colin goes, um... Can you ask her if I can be a super angel too? <laughs> or like, if I, tell her your friend called. No, that's send like her a photo bet. of me and ask. I mean, she told, this I is fucked up. But like, when people are having these episodes, you have to like kind of figure out what the rules are in their brain. Because we <laughs> had like world. a crazy ET guy that my friend was uh, like living with. He was like this older guy, and he was like totally in communication with ET. Uh, ETs, and he knew like he mastered chi arts. Like, chi gong. Yeah, he knew how to <laughs> levitate. Alleged, alle- okay. Allegedly, he could flow and make. <laughs> he told me that if if he wanted to, he could throw me across the room with his mind. <laughs> he was chip. He had a chip. He was chipped in his ear. He had an actual Ooh. microchip in his ear. So I kind of believed him. <laughs> and uh, he was telling us about these aliens for, like three days. At a certain point, I was like, I kind of believe all this. So, um, like okay. I said, I'll believe in anything. And then I said, Well, can you make us see the the aliens on my way home? We're going to be driving down the uh, the back down to Southern California tomorrow. And he goes, The aliens will appear on the five freeway tomorrow. And then we go, Ooh, we're taking the one hundred and one. He goes, Oh, okay, I'll tell them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's um, kind of where I'm at with. Did you see them? I was looking. You didn't see anything? Didn't see him. They could have been up there. But back to the schizophrenia Dylan Sprouse, Cole Sprouse thing. Mm-hmm. They're also... They're, they're super... They're, she named... There was four names in these crazy long texts. It was me as... And the two other super angels mm-hmm. are Cole and Dylan Sprouse in her makes fan sense. fiction. And it, then her eternal husband is Elon Musk. Um, kind of an L. Yeah. But she's like obsessed with Grimes and stuff. Yeah. So makes Jealous a little? Perhaps? Maybe. Yeah. Um, Elon Musk isn't the richest person in the world anymore. I don't care. Who is? Take this L, Elon. You shouldn't have bought Twitter. It's the, so, the, some guy who owns a fashion thing in France. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Really, some random guy I'd never heard of is now the richest. The guy who owns Revolve? Billabong. 
maybe, perhaps? The guy who owns Ruka, <laughs> Billabong, and Element is now the Quick richest Silver. man in the world. <laughs> um, the guy that made Quicksilver shorts. But yeah, that's crazy <laughs> about the Cole and Dylan Sprouse thing. Did you send Beatrix? I'll tell her. Do yeah. you want to read any like passages from it? Like any I'll, single? I'll yeah. read my favorite. I'll read yeah, my favorites. Read some bangers. Yeah, I feel like bangers. it'd be unethical to read all of it. Yeah. But just some bangers. with Because I'm actually like, it's the the stuff and the contents of this messages are so like unlike the way that humans normally communicate you know what i mean it's kind yeah. of inspiring it's like damn oh, it is poetry in yeah, a way yeah yeah it, it definitely reads like like that um <laughs> Okay, so Ooh, Johnny, that I'll, bicep is looking a little bit thicker oh, thanks, these days. Thanks, bro. Yeah, we're all getting jacked. Um, it's happening. I'll just read. I'll read the first part of the message because it's really funny too to just get this out of the blue. She goes, mm -hmm. "Johnny, I'm God." <laughs> And the thing about this, <laughs> oh yeah, and the thing about that is, I'm going to awaken you telepathically, but it'll take some time. We need to talk for the rest of this life because there's an epic war going on. <laughs> Have you heard of the Ascension? Skyrim kind of quest. Vibes. <laughs> Have you heard of the Ascension? I, I feel like this is kind of Assassin's Creedy as well. Yeah, like any because, anything that's more interesting than real life. Get into it is this that. pod. You're gonna become an assassin there's, angel. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, there's a lot of uh, a, a lot of stuff. Like the thing about that is, yeah. and, and also this is important. <laughs> she would say shit like, like NPC dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna want to listen up now. Yeah. Like um, bold and underlined. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then when I didn't respond, she said. Uh, Johnny, I can hear you telepathically so this e-text exchange can end. If it's not you, then let me know. Talk later. Bye. Thanks for downloading everything. <laughs> um, but one of the one before that had a really be sort of weapon in really the nice war. really nice part where that I really liked. She said, um, and I will protect you by being pure love itself. <laughs> okay. Bye. Please call me and meet up. If not, it's okay, sweetie. I won't force you. <laughs> Bye, babe. Haven't talked to her in years. Oh the, my God. I will protect you by being Dude, true, true love itself. Pure so love jealous. itself. How are all the these only, schizos the closest... getting together? All these schizos are in a couples and stuff. What? <laughs> <laughs> what uh, who? You are like you saying an I'm expert schizo? On the subject. No, he said... Someone, there have been two couples brought up that want their girlfriend's schizophrenic. Yeah, I think you're about? hearing voices, my guy. Uh, um, Never mind. Sorry. I, so, sorry. Strike, Chase. Back, it's okay. strike one. Hey, you win some, you dim some. <laughs> so, Chase, you made a friend at a taco spot last week. Yes. What's his name? Um, so I you, got it somewhere. <laughs> you don't remember his go. name? It's. It's a authentic Mexican name. Oh. So, every every well, Mexican's is, name like is Johnny Rios. Authentic. Yeah. <laughs> so how does the story go, Johnny? Be you sent Beirut. him to he at he Chase was hungry like two weeks ago. Beirut. Yeah. yeah. That's a, that's yeah. like full Middle Eastern. Okay, but you can't drop <laughs> full name. Something yeah, is yeah, his yeah. porn <laughs> name. Bleep that. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah so, Chase yeah. was like, "Oh, I'm hungry." And I was like, "Oh." <laughs> good it's like a mexican place right down the street we're gonna bleep the name because yes it's right Boxing down the street again, yeah. from me um we've already given out pretty much the exact <laughs> in the Zusa, california <laughs> by triangulating uh the taco bell proximity and you can probably find the gym outside my house and everything now you so can probably see, see it from space working Post out office. Yeah. Yeah. satellite imagery <laughs> um <laughs> But yeah, I sent him over to this Mexican uh, food spot, uh, and he goes over there. He's gone for a little bit, comes back, and he's telling me sweating. about this friend that he You're made. Sweating? You were sweating? I was sweating. Why? Okay. Uh, it's a little bit of a walk. It mainly oh. like that. And it's spicy. It's like a block. <laughs> It's it's a bad block. It's, 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 like it's a, a long it, ass block. It's not like a we walked, route we walked either. Like, it was like no. a quarter mile to the liquor That's store. It's just hard concrete. And it was just the most miserable walk of my life. I'm it used sucks. to walk yeah. through that my walk. beautiful neighborhood. Yeah. But if you walk the other way, it's beautiful. 
the other what other way? Good. The other it's way a, on my street. It's a nice walk, but every time I feel like I'm gonna know someone who's driving and they're gonna see me walking and like not even here from above. here. Well, like Julie in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, like like my brother. People, like like when someone did see like, you walking like, earlier. He, he, he saw me earlier and they honked and I like put my head down and kind of like. <laughs> You're like, I, I knew like, this would happen. This Fuck. Is, this isn't weird, guys. I'm, just, I'm going to get food. Like, trust me. I'm so anyway, continue the, the story, though. Am I talking? Okay. Yeah, so yeah, well, you, I just you, met this, this. So I just go in an order and then go sit by the window. We went to this place. And right? I turn Johnny around. There's okay. these two, like, middle-aged Mexican guys just, like, staring up at me, smiling. That dude's not middle-aged. That dude's, like, 24. Quarter age. They... Look good though for they they age very well so they could he could be forty seven. <laughs> they have nice skin. <laughs> um, okay, all right. No, no, so they're just smiling at me and like start talking to me and but can't speak English very well and I'm a nice guy trying to converse a little uh-huh. and before I leave like they'd like gotten my number and stuff and I was like wait how did all this. How did that happen? Well, you like, gave them your number. They asked for my happened. number and like we're overly interested in me for me just like ordering and sitting by myself by the window. Did you eat there or did you get it to go? I got it to go. Okay, so you're trying to get out of there? Yeah, kinda? someone was waiting in the car for me and it took Oh, like wow. Minutes. They take their time there. That's what they it's do. Good. I remember that. But, so I, I'm talking to these guys and it's like one thing leads to another. We're like exchanging numbers and he, we've stayed in touch ever since. What do you guys talk He's, about? I mean, he like texted me pretty shortly after that and that night, and was like, "Where do you live? <laughs> like, maybe we can get food like closer. Maybe we live close to each other." And I, I tell him where I live, like not my address, but <laughs> the town I live in. And he's like, "Oh yeah, see, we're close. I live in this town, in Stanton." It's in Stanton. Okay, we're equal distance from here, uh-huh. but he's a little further east. So, wow. but he j- goes to Los Angeles. He drives all the way here just to go eat. He there. likes. It's like, pretty and he good. tells me I have to get the machete, which is like just this big, giant, super long taco. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Then I just started thinking, like, is this guy like into me? Is he get the wrong idea? Like sometimes I get like if people the people wrong impression. People think you're gay. Yeah, I could see it. Um, a little bit happened. It happened a lot more. I feel like in the past it was a little more. Uh, didn't you weren't as buff. Thinner. I was yeah. a little thinner. A little He's more, a little more like twinky. A I was like a little twinky. Yeah. So so you th- did? Have you met up with this guy again or no? Well, I just tonight. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I like texted him two days ago and I was like, oh, and then he followed me on Snapchat too. <laughs> he added me on Snapchat. And I was like. How do you have Snapchat? <laughs> How do we have Snapchat? It's like they make this in Spanish? <laughs> Whoa. Snapchat. Hell Snapchat. He's, like, he's like, he'd sent me pictures. He was sending me pictures of him, like, watching TV by himself and stuff. <laughs> You guys like, talk about like work okay, and stuff. Okay. I saw the, their text. But, but the thing is, is Chase is like, I don't know how this is all happening, but Chase is like, too nice to like just not respond to a dude that like he's not well, sure I'm if he's thinking, like set, getting giving mixed signals or something. Chase is responding to every single <laughs> message. Chase is like having conversations with this guy. It's well, not I'm like thinking, it's like a what if I, one-sided. What if I miss out on the thing. opportunity? What if he's like what high if, up in the? This is really what I is going on in my head. Why I respond if, and. This what is if how he's delu- friends and family at La- Las Salsas. No, this is how delusional I am. Like, I'm like, this is my end to like the cartel. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say like, what if he's like an art collector? <laughs> Are you I'm trying like, to get in the cartel? I'm like, this is this could be like some guy. Like, it's so weird. It happened so fast, and they're just like, <laughs> they spotted me, and they're like, we can use him. For- <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, he has multiple DUIs. We actually can't for what we have in mind. No, no. I think that makes him a Just prime kidding, candidate, yeah. probably. No, you want to be a mule. If you're going to be a mule, you can't have DUIs because then they can just pull you over for funsies. Trust ah. me, I watched the Clint Eastwood movie. <laughs> I watched Sicario 2 last night. What's that? Uh, Wait, you just met up with him, though, right? Oh, yeah, and then so I went there by myself tonight. Yeah. And. 
five minutes later, he him and his boys walk in. So he was with one other guy the, lot, the first time, and then there was a third this time. And I was at a table of four by myself in perfect, perfect number, perfect uh, match. Then we all sat together, took pictures. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're gonna show them. Did you see the photos? <clears throat> I saw the photo of Chase. I haven't seen the photo of this guy. <laughs> There's, There's a the photo of, of just Chase yeah, they, for some can reason. He take after, that? Yeah, at, I had the waitress take the picture because Julian said I had to get pictures. <laughs> and then, so I asked the waitress to, and she did. And then the guy was like, now, now just you. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, that's dude, that's some true okay. crime shit. <laughs> Chase is also this leaving photo out. of him is the last time he was ever seen. The, the guy keeps like baiting Chase to like tell him if he has a girlfriend or not or something oh, really? like that. Yeah, he keeps like, he's like, oh, like. Why are you by yourself? Don't you have a girlfriend? Oh, <laughs> and stuff? Yeah. yeah, like he's the one. Just 100% just into Chase. <laughs> My main guy, is, he's sitting across from me. Dude, you picture. think this guy's 20? <laughs> that guy's oh, in his oh, wait, 20s. The guy on the, the far, the back right is your friend. Yeah. Yeah. And then the that front guy's in left his 20s. is also Almost certainly. The front left guy invited he's me to his house. He's not as like spectacular as I imagined. Oh, I gotta show you. <laughs> let me show you the other picture he sent Yeah, me. that guy's. Apparently. Is that his dad and on and who's sitting next to you? No, that's uh, the guy who his friend that he was with the first time. Who today he said he was going to make a spe- Mexican dish and invite me to his house in Stanton. Ooh, no, you'll <laughs> never come back. Do you need some backup for that? <laughs> Should we uh, all go? I was going to just turn on my location and maybe send it to you guys. Okay, <laughs> so we could monitor. You were just going to go and. Like I don't know if bus. I can invite people, especially gringos. Bring you know? <laughs> <laughs> John. Yeah, I mean, this is actually like beautiful. Uh, yeah, like, make the like, bridging culture. Maybe they just feel <laughs> bad for me and like. They might. Like, act, that could be lonely. what it is. That could be what it. I mean, honestly, though, if he's saying like, "What? You don't have like a girlfriend or anything?" I that could be uh, just like, "Why are you by yourself?" Bro, bro I think shit. it's beautiful that it's the second you guys hung out and you guys are like have a group photo <laughs> like it's some long Wait. reunion <laughs> yeah the way the staff at the place was like looking at me totally different after i after really? they sat with me they're like oh, oh this white boy cool. knows what's up uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> oh, that's good that is super good wow, wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. You didn't actually. get the machete yeah. though, Thanks. did you? Chase finds himself in these time. like very, very <laughs> weird like, situations you a think lot. We're just too like, because where we live in our local culture, we're just not very friendly people in we, public. Like yeah, I don't like every time I go outside, I'm not trying to meet somebody. I'm trying to not meet somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's a I feel Southern like, California vibe. I feel like you gotta like What's mentally. Your home too? Huh? I feel it's your home too. I feel like oh, if yeah. you're not like in your home, you're like more for likely sure. Yeah, to if you're visiting, reach out to people yeah, and yeah. Like when it's your home, you're just like it's a tunnel vision kind of like yeah, yeah. You're like I need to do this, you're in do the this, rat do this, race, and then man. tomorrow I got to go to fucking work. Yeah, I uh, I <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if you get yourself in the mindset of like meeting people, like it almost has to be like a joke in your head. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to be silly and talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah. That's just what they're doing to me. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, dude, I dare you to make friends with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you to make That's such a good dare. <laughs> I, dare you to make, I dare you to try to make friends you with that guy. Get his number. Get if his you, number. I'll give you 20 bucks if you Snapchat that dude. If you get his Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> we should do some, like... <laughs> Make a friend challenge or something. Wait, what was tell him, I had tell an him he's idea a cool dude. where we had to like go oh, on, uh, oh, go fuck. on that the Tinder bump, was, where you find yeah, friends. Tinder oh, Bumble friends. Friends. Yeah, Bumble friends. Bumble friends. We all find and we one bring them on the pod, and then we make a podcast with. We each have our friend guy stand in as a representative of our team. Dude, that is so... I would love to to do like a a, a Bumble friend challenge. Okay. Are we trying to find someone that's like? Most is similar it, to us? No, I feel or, like uh, weirdest just friend God, wins. Was, weirdest instinct, friend wins. My instincts are kicking in. I just can't let anybody in my bubble. It's like a threat <laughs> to my like livelihood. Dude, I, I think it I feels like I'm like fight or flight. It's like if somebody random comes in this room, I'm gonna freak out. Dude, he doesn't look gay. He doesn't look He's, gay. He texted he? me, "You are cool." The, the first day. <laughs> <laughs> you are cool. It's a, 
selfie. <laughs> is he is he like from is he from Stanton? No. Where is he from? Michu Michuacan. Okay, so he, okay. Michuacan. That kind of makes a little more sense that he's like here and he's trying to make friends. Maybe he's trying yeah. to marry yeah, you maybe. for his green card or for, for his citizenship. He was no, trying to get I was trying to get you to go to Mexico. I was thinking about it. I was like, they wanted okay, you to go to I got to remove mm-hmm. the Mexican part out of this situation cuz <laughs> Because <laughs> if it's a white guy, it's like you can tell pretty easily for the most part. He's gay. If he's gay, and I was like, he's definitely not flamboyantly gay. Like even the like, if I remove the Mexican aspect, I still see no flamboyancy. Yeah, he's buoyant for sure. Not flamboyant, <laughs> I think. But very boring. This, this rain energy is making my like fingers hurt. Yeah, why did you guys get <laughs> different one than me? Is it well because I, on I bought like these years ago already? for for the three of us as a prank. Mm. So they're warm. No, they're cold. Um, should we do the painting? Should we uh, grab the painting? Mm. Wait, can we? But just before we're totally should done, we? can we just like? I would. I think we should do some kind of Bumble friendship challenge. Oh, God. Yeah. Why are you so afraid? What could I'm happen? I'm not afraid. It's just. I think it's. It's. It's one of those things. When you Dude. were a kid, did you ever go like, oh, let's go, uh, let's go egg somebody's house, and then your friends are like, okay, yeah, let's do that, and then you're like, fuck, I don't actually want to do that, but that was my idea, and everybody thought it was a great idea. Mm-hmm. Now I'm stuck doing something I didn't even want to do. I just had to have the stupid idea. Mm. I want to know who's on Bumble Friends. Like, yeah, what kind of dude? Is what on there? kind of dude is on there? What kind of dude is on Bumble Friends? He's drink- he's eating a melted push pop right now. It's not melted. It's perfect. I they feel like I push me. it up more. I, you know what? I think I think we could. If it's have, not melted, I think push we it could up more. shake some stuff up if we had a Bumble dude in here. <laughs> I think that if we like, hey, my interests are Super Smash Brothers and Ugh. like, you know, the computer. Yeah, ew. <laughs> ew. Like hanging out. Dude, okay, think about some people, though, that really bring light to our lives. I, w- I would like me? a foreign like, guy. I, I, like, I like what Chase has going on where we get a foreign guy. We could bring Beirut on. He'd be. I don't know about that. <laughs> He's a little scary. I'm a little scared. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna start hanging out like. Yeah, I don't want him knowing where I live. That's for damn sure. Especially when I live so close to the restaurant uh, he frequents. You didn't. Uh, you didn't. You didn't tell him where I lived, Chase. It was a long walk. You didn't walk with him back here. I, no, I didn't want to walk. Oh, you you had him drop you off here. No, you didn't, Chase. You're lying. Did you, did you have? I don't know if he's lying, dude. Can you, are you serious? I mean, he didn't see like which house, really. Oh my god, he knows one of three <laughs> houses, though. He knows one no, of three. No, no, I didn't. I, okay, I was kind of bummed he didn't offer at least. Right, <laughs> he just hugged me and said, "You hug, cuidado, cuidado." That's yeah. cool. Careful for all you cuidado. non-Spanish speakers. Yeah. Careful. Um, should I grab the should we even go in? Call into, him right now. No, what about the other weird Call him right situation now. I got in? Call him right now. What's the Call other him. weird situation? <laughs> What's the other weird situation? My first sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, Chase. Okay, yeah. Let me preface hear. this. Chase, so Chase is in uh, AA. Uh, Recent new, oh, a I newbie. They call he's a, a new. Call he's a new. Well, not really anymore, but. So a sponsor in AA is like someone who's like been in the program a long time and like can show you the ropes kind of, but everyone has sponsors. So it's like a thing that you do over and over kind of, and they take you through like the steps. I'm finally sponsored. AA. But, uh, you have to buy them. You have to ask them to be your sponsor. You have to ask them. Yeah. Um, and so Chase paint, paint the picture of, of your so first interaction with this in guy. Laguna. Beach, a little small town in Cali- Southern California. <laughs> um, Gorgeous. Beach town. Beautiful. Queen. Yeah, very beautiful. So we had to go to the same meeting every morning at 7 a.m. And everyone's supposed to be looking for their sponsor. And I see this legend of a man, old dude, like 80. And he can't speak because he has one of those holes in his throat. 
but he's right. He writes the notes and then gives it to the people, and then everyone loves him. He just gets up and like, like, acts out what while they're writing, saying what he wrote down. He's like clapping and jumping up and down and like <laughs> all enthusiastic. And see him for a few days, and then he kind of finds me and like gets my number. <laughs> You gave him your number. He keeps saying he keeps saying that these people get his number. And when Chase is giving these giving his number out to these I, I, strange all the men. Coworkers that I work with and it's been like months and I don't and I need their phone number and I just don't have it. So, <laughs> so this guy looks exactly like the family guy neighbor, the old man like him. <laughs> Herbert. He looks like him in real life. And With a fucking uh, tracheotomy or whatever. Yeah, it's like it's a, a, a stoma. Yeah. It's a stoma. He the guy who likes Chris. So yeah. He's r like stopping me afterwards and like writing down this whole paragraph of like things he's telling me. He gets my number. He's texting me at night like paragraphs about AA and like all the rules and stuff and what you're supposed to do and things to read. And I'm like shoot this is it i gotta ask him to be my sponsor mm. i'm like so are you like my sponsor <laughs> and he's like fuck that shit fuck all that shit <laughs> and it's like <laughs> some people are like some old school guys are like like to have their own style i don't know so, but he pretty much is still like in traditional apprenticeships well yeah, his <laughs> He's His approach much, is not being sober. Also, he's, so. he's pretty, uh, no, uh, no, he's, still, he's so he pretty much <laughs> says he doesn't like the idea of that, but he's still like being my sponsor, I guess. But okay, so then fast forward like a week, we pull up. <laughs> at a drunk sponsor. We pull up to the, <laughs> Crystal to the meeting, sponsor. and there's cop police cars outside <laughs> of the building, and after a little more investigation he's being questioned in one of the rooms by two police officers and they're telling us he kind of has had a little created a scene freaked out i don't really i'm just kind of in an awkward place it's like my boy in there getting questioned and <laughs> and then everyone else like outside very mad at him and i'm <laughs> like i don't want to like have them know that that's my boy <laughs> but also like and then he sees me and then like high fives me as they're like <laughs> Escort <laughs> they, they escort him out. Uh, uh, and oh man. I kind of for, try to forget about it, feel bad for the guy. He like sleeps in his car outside the place and stuff. And then, uh, but so he texts me later and I get the down low what went down. And apparently, his version, he wrote down, okay, well, I got the it validated. He told me what happened and someone else. Was like yeah, corroborated, co corroborated, corroborated his story, and yes. So they they pass around a jar to for everyone's supposed to donate two dollars, and uh oh, he had his little note for to have them say what he wanted to share in the meeting, and they wouldn't share it for whatever they didn't want to say what he had written, <laughs> <laughs> and he got pissed. He he was like. Like, he can't talk, so I'm trying to, like... Ex <laughs> <laughs> he wanted them to say what he wrote down. He started flipping everyone off. I could understand <laughs> yeah. why that he would started, be frustrating yeah. for him. He started flipping everyone off. They're like, we're not going to say it. And he took money out of the jar, <laughs> put it in his pockets. Wouldn't... They're like, all right, you got to get out of here. And he wouldn't leave. And then the cops came there. And, Do we and know he what says, was So he says... What I said, uh, these I gotta I gotta pull it up. Pull it up. It's fucking pure it gold. Up. It really? is the funniest shit in the world. <laughs> it is so fucking funny. Um, but Chase has like a a mystical quality about him to just like attract like the most freakish, or he's, or he's attracted to, or he's attracted to the most he's got freakish. Like a, a drifter, a drifter, like kind old of vibe. Soul. I'm an old soul. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Yeah. Wait till you hear about kind the of police old brutality he attracted. <laughs> all right, all right. So, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, no. So he... From this rain energy. You guys got, this is... It's pretty gnarly. I feel weird. He sent me a video of him naked. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> we'll get there. We'll I mean, get dude. there. This is all afterwards. This is all after the 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 veil of cool old sober guy uh, <laughs> has been uh, <laughs> lifted. <laughs> the, the metaphorical veil and the and the right. physical veil of is. his clothing <laughs> is lifted <laughs> simultaneously. I said, so I text him, "You all right?" After that, seeing that, and he says, "Have a good meeting. Raise your hand high." Obviously, they think they have power. It just, <laughs> it just shows me that they have close to no idea what AA is. They'll just go back to their big house on the beach and talk about me for a week. <laughs> this is the fact. Get with Jesus. He's the only way to the Father. The big deal that I missed for years was my spiritual experience and understanding of God must grow. At the meeting, I'll share this with you. This is what I tried to get them to read um, he says at the meeting this I'll share this with you but remember this there's honesty and rigorous honesty this is my honesty I've had another man's penis in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> rigorous honesty is this I've done it more than once <laughs> He funny. says, they wouldn't read it. <laughs> Why not? So if you want to share, share that. Read it word for word. Just tell them you know a guy who did this once. <laughs> you knew a guy that did this. He wanted me to share it and say, I know a guy. Dude, I feel like they didn't want to read it because it's probably not the first time he's wanted to share something like that. He, he like camps outside the place in his car and like every time he's trying to like have people read about his sexual experiences in front of everybody. And then he got naked and sent you photos. Oh, he sends me just fucking novels. And then one day he's like, this is what happy, joyous, and free looks like. And he like set up his phone in the parking lot of some like national park cliffside and like ran naked up to the cliff and started throwing his hands in the air and then ran back. And Andrew, pull that up. <laughs> yeah, we'll, I'll send it to you. <laughs> It's don't send it. Just <laughs> so fucked. But yeah. but again, I was like Chase. Like this guy just so this guy just keeps sending you this shit. Like like, but Chase is ha like responding. Yeah, <laughs> he's responding to everything. He's like everyone. inviting. I it. love everyone. He's very nice. Christ like yeah. in that. Yeah, you are way. Christ like. I probably thing. wouldn't respond, but like somebody <laughs> has to respond, and I'm glad it's Chase. Yeah, <laughs> that dude. That. Fucking, uh, there's honesty and there's rigorous honesty. So fucking that, funny. Like, you can't, nobody even writes shit no, it, it, on purpose that that's It's the same as the schizo funny. shit. Yeah, yeah, it's I was like gonna say it's, it's like, poetic as you fuck. You have to be in a totally different state of mind. Yeah. Well, that's an AA thing, is like being honest, like rigorous honesty. Oh, yeah. And humility. So he thought it, that's like the trump card of like, this is how AA I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is my rigorous honesty, the most humiliating thing I could I mean, for some it's people, it's happened more than once. <laughs> what did he say? It's <laughs> happened. It's happened more than once. That's what he said. I, I've done it more than once. Dang, <laughs> so funny. Pretty good. <laughs> Had another man's so good. In my mouth. Wow. Round of applause. <sighs> yeah. That guy, Charlie well, Columbia, is his name. <laughs> Stop doxing all these people. <laughs> man. Chase doesn't feel like the story is complete until he doxes somebody. <laughs> uh, it's a Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's his name, dude. That uh, and the video of his naked body. <laughs> honesty is 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 uh, his first name. Rigorous, rigorous honesty is both his names. Rigorous he would probably honesty. be. Excited that you read this for everybody. Probably. Yeah. He you, wanted it shared. It. Yeah. And it's true. This is a, an audience. <laughs> a big platform him for him. Podcast. Yeah, I talked about you. Yeah. <laughs> well, should we grab that yeah. painting, Chase? Uh, yeah, we could we can show you know. I guess. <laughs> you wanna I guess preface you wanna preface anything or do you wanna just whip it out? <clears throat> I mean, I think everyone we uh, everyone itself. knows. Okay, it, it really, speaks for yeah, it really, does. Uh, it speaks for itself. So, um, I think this was a. What, how proven. how is this experience for you? Do you honestly, do you respect this painting more or, or less? Honesty. Rigorous honesty. 
Do you, you respect this see? painting more or less? <laughs> and jokes aside. Yeah. I respect it. More. More? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> how cl- on a scale of one to ten, Matt. how well do you think? The- <laughs> <laughs> How well do you think you did? On a scale of one to ten. Doubling down. Uh, How well did I do? Yeah, how well did you do on a scale Uh, of one to ten to replicate? Nah, ten. Okay. (laughs) To replicate. I I didn't go back and rewatch everything that was said on the first party. Like, I don't. You basically just called it shitty and said it was easy. You said you could recreate it with spray paint. Oh, yeah. Well. I did. <laughs> I did. I did do that. I don't. I did it like pretty much the same. And then at the end, I started kind of like freestyled a little bit. Other stuff. Like I started when I do art. Did you it, make it better? It kind of takes over. Oh, <laughs> it kind of takes over. So I, what I does? started going. What takes over? Well, first of all, it's all about location. <laughs> Speaking first of Laguna of all, it's Beach, all about location. Go get it. This was done in Laguna Beach. If I'm not in Laguna, I'm going to have different inspirations. Okay. I kind of go get a it. Laguna Beach sunset. Okay. What? I was in orange. Orange. <laughs> 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 I was, I was in orange. 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 Colin, do you want to maybe like shuffle battle real quick? Oh, man. Nah, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Good. I need to. Um, um, let's do let's do a stand up comedy. Oh God, I can't do that right now. Yeah. Uh, Faith. Stand up comedy time. Come on, you have to stand right here. Okay. Well, I don't know. You have to stand it... up right here. Hey, stand, stand up. up. Comedy. The camera's over there. <laughs> But I don't want to stand up. It's stand up comedy. Okay, I'm not going to tell you my funny story then. Oh. Right, okay. Stand up comedy. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> Roll face. Here she comes. I'm not telling you guys. Okay. Well, here's the painting, guys. <laughs> oh. Shit, yeah, I was in like. Uh, I think we need to put it like behind the yeah. table. Yeah. Be careful, careful of the fire on that laptop. Yeah, watch the laptop. The laptop uh, on the floor. It. There's a laptop. Rigorous honesty. I stepped on your laptop. <laughs> uh, well, I was thinking like in front of Colin. Yeah. Let's just hold it up for a bit, okay. and you can Let kind take of. A photo of it. Yeah. Yeah. Drop a little bit so we can see Crazy. that. Wow. Where is it? We can put it. We'll, we'll hang it. I back got it. I got it. I'm just behind it this tarp. Ah, there we go. It's this crazy. is. <laughs> this is. You need to grab a mic if you're gonna talk. Oh my god. Right. Yeah. Like drop it. That's pretty fucking impressive. <laughs> so gotta go back up. Back up. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Chases might be better. <laughs> oh, it's better. <laughs> Chases. I, that's where I didn't remember if I said I do have a replica because I did the replica and then, like I said, it took over and I was I had started to having this fire vibe. There's a there's a few mistakes at the top there. Well, that was just. There's a bug on it. Also. That, was, that was that was intentional. Those are intentional. See, I. There's no mistakes. Over here. Those are intentional. That's the shadow. See if you notice oh, there's a shadow on that one. Yeah, that doesn't look like a shadow though. Those, it's intentional. I like yours, Chase. I like yours. Thank you. Is, that's you my next phase is selling it. It's got a very uh, Waldorf vibe. Don't you? Do you don't you think, yeah. Uh, Johnny? Yeah. Well, the, the black. The black in the middle turned out really nice. Yeah. Yeah, let's say you did pretty good, Chase. Thank you. On to your next art challenge. Which art? Which piece of so art? So, how will much? You re- how much money next? do we owe him? 
I'm well, like, okay, here's I the thing. Here's about the thing, Chase. dollars on Ubers to the Ace Hardware store because you guys wouldn't drive me. <laughs> and a hundred, at least a hundred dollars in spray paint. Like what if I told a you that we're buying a sixteen hundred dollar television for us that you can, you look can at. use it? No, uh, we'll, we'll we'll reimburse I, you and in television some. time. I have. Chase, your 30 minutes of Cartoon Network are coming up. <laughs> Hurry. Are you offering me a television? What? No. no. You can have this one. I don't need a tele... I have like four TVs at my house. What? Well, that... Really Imagine is. having five. <laughs> have you thought... You'd have a Super Bowl You sound party. like a guy who likes TVs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you have a vintage TV? This one's from 2010. Mm, no, wait. Where we'll you pay all? you. You're gonna pay me? We'll pay you. We'll pay you. We're saying a hundred dollars. We uh person. that means we need like four people to buy hoodies. <laughs> oh yeah, guys. So thanks for buying thanks to everyone who put bought that hoodies. On a hoodie. Faith, how's uh how's, that would be how's kinda the sick, shipping actually. department looking? Okay, Tuesday. Tuesday. Wow, that means wow, they're already last... shipped out and you probably already if got them by the time. If this you're comes watching out. this, you you're wearing a hoodie already. You're either warm or you're cold. Can and we? That depends. I know how you guys can pay me. Why don't you pull one of the hoodies out huh. so you can show people? We in hoodies, we make a hoodie that I get a on the part of the oh. percentage. Oh, Chase! Oh, Chase has a good idea. We're gonna make. Uh, well, we'll we'll just Go do t-shirts. Me for cha- uh, this is for my foundation. We'll do t-shirts with this painting on it on the front, and that one on the ba- or that one on the front, and oh, that one on the back, side. and it says. Let's hold this for what? the rest of the pod. Chase, do you want to model this for the camera? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put Johnny's hoddie on? No, don't put my hoodie on. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, like, do you want to model? I just got my shirt fully on. Yeah, I can wear it. These are art. great, man. How many times have you washed this thing? Not, not a once. See, the, they're good to go. You can wear them right out of the package. But if you do choose to wash it, like I did, like Joa probably did, like most people. What the fuck? What? I just called you clean. You're wearing. You have Patagonia pants. Oh yeah. Well, you thought you could just wear those without anybody noticing? Stand, I bought them for work. Stand up. Let me. Oh, let me. I, let me. I want to look at you, dude. I want to see if they're nice pants. They're a little long. Huh? Oh, they're like twenty. Whoa, dude! Your wow. the ass on those is sick. Look at those pants. Let me see the ass. Look at this. <laughs> That's tight. <laughs> With pleasure. Dude, Chase, do you remember... Uh, a beast. Oh my god, Colin's fucking fitted right now. I didn't even see you stand up since you got here. Yeah, these are nice. Um, Those are badass. I, I don't know... Oh, you know how I ended up with these? Is how? Volcom keeps on advertising their work pants to me. And I go, oh, you know, I'll hit up Jonah and ask him for some. So I start looking for reviews... And then I found some YouTuber guy that goes, these are the only work pants I will wear. And he was a farmer. And he owned oh. four pairs of these. What are they called? I don't know. They're made of hemp sacks. What? They're wow. fucking heavy as shit. They're like two pairs of pants heavy. Wow, that's they're nice. They're pretty all right. I mean, they're like 80 bucks. Are they more comfortable than Carhartt? They're more they durable. Like the same they're durable. Style as Carhartt. Different material? Is that what's they're going on? They're and They're like fucking... Hey, they're heavy. Like yeah, they're double. They're the they're double that. need, and they have this so that way your knee doesn't rip. Hmm. And the pockets are I not on them. your butt, wow. on your side, which is nice because if you like Johnny, squat. stop acting like this isn't interesting. No, I like those pants a lot. I do too. I didn't. I thought you were gonna. I like. I like I how the f- pocket is like a swerve, so it looks like it like complements your ass. I've Whoa. got a Patagonia guy. You got a Patagonia? What? Yeah, I got a Patagonia guy. Get us, well, dude. I want some. Okay. Pants. Should we get, should we try and get sponsored? You're not by Patagonia. Dude, when I when Patagonia I put these, these are <laughs> this is how heavy these are. And when I, I was like, I probably shouldn't Take wear these off. to Johnny because <laughs> would, I might do pull ups. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and these might I That'll might help. be able to do one less pull up than I would uh, normally be able to do in these pants. <laughs> My friend worked on the smoked fish section though of uh, Patagonia. That's what the section smoked he works in. Fish? The heck is that? Yeah, he 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 was on, his most recent work was. Sm- the smoked fish. They sell Patagonia. fish. They sell fish. Yeah. Patagonia sells fish. As yeah. They or something. As they should. <laughs> I have no like idea. Yeah. So, what's going um, with your shirt, Jace? Is that just? Is that art? 
we had went outside to get the art and it was like just moving around a lot and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just, just burst through the seams. Are you sure? Um, yeah. It's kind of hot. I mean, so, Chase, tell us about how you got hogtied by the poli- <laughs> your local police department. <laughs> hey, man. This is actually... Might, oh, we, you don't is, have to talk about is, it either. We've we've gone through a lot tonight. I, don't, I might have to save that one for... <laughs> He's trying to him. he's trying to save some of his <laughs> ammunition so he can come back on. <laughs> Case, have Chase okay, come Chase. back on and t- tell us about how he got hogged. We, okay, we can either talk don't about. Don't you need justice, Chase? This is your chance. Okay, Chase, I'll, I'll give you two options. We can talk about um we can talk about the hog tying situation, or we can talk about the 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 tampon situation. <laughs> Tampon no. or hog tie? How do you pick? <laughs> okay. I'm in so I was hog tied by the police. <laughs> <laughs> not, the first time I went to jail, I, this is actually a serious. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's what those, uh, my up, schizophrenic this, girlfriend this, would say. She goes, "This this part's important." This came this, up this because part. we were watching. Uh, We've been watching like cops gone wrong stuff, you know, police yeah. brutality type stuff, you know, just normal shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, Chase said, I got hogtied. Johnny brought it up, but yeah, I had I I kind of blocked it, <clears throat> been suppressing it out of my memory for a while. Uh, it was my first time in custody, and it was a drunk in public. Uh, it was, I did get. Dropped by a bouncer at a bar for, um, got dropped. I think he, yeah, I think he Damn. put he, like before I realized what was happening, I was in a leg lock outside the bar. Really, it was a crowded night. I was a little, little buzz. So he was a jujitsu messing, like kind of probably messing around, being a little rowdy, but harmless. I'm, you know, very, no, Chase is a nightmare but, drunk. I'm very he's benign. No, he's not. <laughs> no, you're, you're, I'm you're, a very yeah. benign. You're not benign. You're not okay, benign. But I can be. And <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't there. That's true. <laughs> well, this is my story time. Okay. Right? So, regardless. Somebody animate this. The pretty sure, the pretty sure at least that tor- the, the last thing that cued this was him grabbing my arm and me slipping out like being like no don't grab me and then bam leg lock on the on the sidewalk outside and it's downtown so there's cops everywhere bars everywhere college drunk college kids everywhere and i'm in the back of the cop car before i can blink and and then i'm like sober i'm like what 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 happened (laughs) <laughs> and, then, and, then in, and then I'm in the and then I'm in the me. cell by myself before I can blink again. And I'm like, I'm just upset now. I'm like, hey, what the heck, guys? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, no, seriously. No, okay, guys, seriously. not funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> this is so me, I won't get mad at me. <laughs> and then I and then they're like not even t- trying to like negotiate with me. And like, <laughs> what that, was your that offer? Just, that's just offensive. That then they were being rude. I felt like from not even they like talking to me at least. You know, it's definitely. So I was like, all right, it's like suck my dick. You said that. Well, I like was yelling it, but. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. I don't know. There's like so yelling, that, yelling thought, into I, the ethos. I thought you said you were <laughs> benign. So there's like a, no, I was until oh, I was trapped. Until he was wrong. Myself. Until you were ignored a bunch until of times because of how benign you, you were. Doing handstands. No. Said? Okay. So it's just a glass cell. <laughs> there's just a big glass. There's not like like metal poles like they do in the movies. It's glass. It's like bullet. Why did you do glass. that with your hands when you describe metal <laughs> poles? You like see poles? that. Pulls. Are you? I I like how you're like you have this uh, like <laughs> reputation for attracting guys. Where you have your shirt unbuttoned, jerking the air off. <laughs> I can't believe Johnny went pee in the middle of this story. I know this is a good story. I think he's heard it. Red Bulls is getting me a little. But keep going. Dizzy. Uh, all right. So there's no poles. It's just like plexiglass, like bolt, like thick glass. 
and then like an office, like just ladies working on computers. And then every once in a while, like a guard walks by, but I'm in a cell. There's like cells next to me and I'm trying to get them to negotiate, you know, and they won't. So I'm just like flipping the guards off as they walk by, telling like the secretary, like telling them to suck my dick and stuff. And um, they, so they just gradually more and more time went by. They didn't like me more and more. Um, and then, and then I just like realized there was no use really to fight. I was trapped there and I was bored and I did a couple like handstands on the wall. I was like trying to see like a benign, like healthy thing to do. And they didn't like that at all. They They didn't like the handstands? Yeah. They came in and were like, don't do that. Go sit right there. there you should sit. What law am I breaking? <laughs> can you net? Can While you're upside can down. You, where does you, it say? I can't do this. Can you name the name the ordinance? Where does it say <laughs> I can't do handstands <laughs> in here? Where is your supervisor? Can, call your supervisor. <laughs> is there a sign that says no handstands? <laughs> There was. What about loitering? I'm loitering in here. Let me get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is foist. For, foist. For, oh, come I'm get loitering. the sheriff. Forced loitering. <laughs> I'll get down if the sheriff comes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Uh, Bring Biden. So they told me to sit right there, like right on. There's one little bench. It's all concrete. There's a bench and a toilet, and I. Is there toilet paper in there? I sit. I don't remember. I didn't use it. I just went in the corner. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I sit on the bench where they told me, and then as a little like one last hurrah of defiance, I like scoot over like six inches as they're like walk. They weren't even facing towards me. One of like the secretary ladies must have told them or something. Because then they came back in with like twelve people in this device. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, a full on anal device. probe. And they told me to sit on the ground and they like cross legged like this with my legs out and they put started like wrapping Velcro straps like that big around and they're showing like the these like four or five other like people in training like how to do use this thing. <laughs> it, it's called the hog tie. Uh, they called it the hog tie? <laughs> yeah. Holy and, shit. And they so they wrap these Velcro things up to my waist. And it's like squeezing my legs to where there's l- less, less circulation than uh, you'd think. like. <laughs> yeah. and, squish. and then I'm handcuffed behind my back. Oh and, my God. And then there's like something, I think, like a vest with a chain. Like, and they tell me to like touch my toes. And I'm like, I like, try to touch my toes with my head. And I'm like, and I'm trying to show them how flexible I am. <laughs> <laughs> And I get, I like fully like lean forward, like oh, trying to no. do it, and then they clip a chain <laughs> to my feet, so I'm so I cannot move. It's like this, <laughs> absolutely, like cannot move back at all. Like all my muscles start cramping in my legs, and within like a couple minutes, I'm like screaming in pain, like oh, excruciating. Like muscle cramps this all really through funny. my yeah. Legs. This isn't funny, That's Colin. Bad. Bad. <laughs> this is where it gets serious. And then it was, I, the, the whole I story much, was funny <laughs> up until this part. For the record, I, guys. I'm like, it, it's like to the point of like the worst pain you can like put up with. Like all the only thing I eventually like I tried to like roll on my side to like try to stretch out but it, you're still just stuck in the exact same position. And then I'm just like laying on my side screaming. And then I'm, and they leave me like that. Like every time the guards walk by, they like go up to the door and like act like they're going to come take me out. And then they like walk, like <laughs> so they psych and then they leave for another like, yeah. And I'm like, dude, it felt like, last? it felt like, like hours, like three hours, I want to say, but like trying to like, all, like obviously it felt way longer than it was but it had to have been like 45 minutes trapped mm-hmm. like that and so why did they let you go at me like did you stop screaming no eventually i stopped crying and screaming because i like had no more energy like i just went silent for like five minutes and like thought i was gonna die like i started thinking about all like my family and stuff and was like just like giving up like straight up thought i was gonna die 
And then after I was quiet for a while, they finally came in and unstrapped me. And then I just like laid there like silent the rest of the night. And then when my friend's dad picked me up in the morning, I called him and was like, Chase, catch up, motherfucker. <laughs> this is <laughs> like, you have a call from the Slow County uh, jail or whatever. And then I was making, leaving everyone I knew, like calling them and leaving them funny voicemails. <laughs> <laughs> But see, I just bounced back like that. I was just traumatized. I was just traumatized, like near death, like <laughs> abuse of power. And then I'm still good, benign. Yeah, but then a, a guy. Two months later, a, a guy died in custody in that jail. At that from same jail. A from similar a device. It was even an even less restrictive device, but they left him in it for forty eight hours. What the? It, fuck? But he wasn't. He was in a chair that just had like it was just cutting off his. I couldn't feel the the skin on my legs for two days, or two like two weeks after. So fucked up. He didn't complain. Is it file too a complaint late or anything to either. sue them? Probably I not. Know. I because that's fucked. Yeah. Super fucked. I, uh, like they had a protest about the guy who I felt really bad at and was like say anything guy? because someone died like a couple months later and uh, yeah they wouldn't I have felt like shit there wouldn't have been immediate guilty action. yeah but the guy they probably were, already had like these fucking abusive officers always have like a fucking twenty six complaints filed there against there them. were protests and stuff for the guy and like I went to one of them and left they asked for like other people who've had some bad experiences and stuff and I left my name and email and i don't think the person ever i was like down to like you know be told my story yeah. and stuff but they never reached out to me so and fucked i had some other stuff going on at that time that i kind of just let that one slide <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right fucked. do the tampon i'm just well, kidding i'm just kidding oh, okay. that was a good story <laughs> that sounded emotionally draining yeah, that sounds insane. I, wh that, why would you rather have that story than the tampon? The tampon's mild. We fuckers. Now we're gonna have to tell both. No, no, no. We'll right? save the tampon. <laughs> Dude, I can't do the tampon story now. I'm like, it's like when you watch an action movie, yeah. you're exhausted. Yeah, that was draining. Also, so, dude, yeah, I don't. It's, it's whatever's in this horrifying. thing is like fucking making me like tired. Yeah. This rain energy is making me tired. Dude, I've found so many goodies in my boxes of stuff that I have out there in my garage that I've been going what through. Like that. that it's like a little fucking I'm a hoarder. Guy. I'm a hoarder. But I hoard good stuff like this Game Boy oh, Advance. Yeah, yeah. That, that is good. works. You'll probably never play that, but that's cool. You I played, played it earlier. For 50. And what for was your He started his Pokemon Dude, save file. He I boots his Pokemon game up. He goes, My black my whose game file is this? My blessed voice's name is Aquarius, <laughs> <laughs> and Blast Voice is a water type Pokemon. And I was like, dude, I don't know. Why don't you look at the trainer card and see what your trainer's it's, name is? It was is? my. It, it said, said Johnny. Johnny. But so I at one point in life, Johnny was named a Pokemon Blast Voice Aquarius named, and named a Blast Voice Aquarius. Yes. Named a Blastoise Aquarius? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His, his full name is Blastoise Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> it's a badass name. It's Blastoid. When you're like 14, that does sound maybe. like one of the Key and Peele, like uh, yeah, the, Blastoise the, Aquarius, Duke University. <laughs> Blastoise Aquarius. Oh, my God. Don't, nothing football related, please. I know, dude. Oh, no. the, okay, we, we are pissed on this. <laughs> We went, we've been watching all this football, and mostly, I just watch football to root against Patrick Mahomes and the San Francisco 49ers. That's like my main them. thing, is hating those franchises. I hate them. And yeah, they both won today, and I almost... Actually, I did vomit this They're morning. They're going to the Super Bowl. I vomited this morning. I, I had a violent throwing up session. Talk, tacos Gavilan. It was gross. Probably one of the worst things that's ever happened. It was a it was a hangover related throw up. Um, it was a hangover. Okay, I'm ready for my apology. Hangover no, no, related. I'm ready. It was a hangover hey, related Johnny, throw up. Shut the fuck up. Listen to this. It. Listen to this. It was a it was a hangover. I, me and Jimmy drank an entire bottle. Remember, of tequila. Remember yeah. last yeah. week when we said strike one. Strike two. This is Tacos Gavilan third fucking strike. 
I can't You're, eat it anymore. We probably. not recording. So, I'm sorry. How is this not like damning fucking concrete evidence? Let me that just tell my story, man. I'm, okay. I was a little about? focused. How did we get to the point where I, where Tufko's Gavilan was coming out of my mouth? Yeah, let's get there. Great poker well, night at Jimmy's house. Me and Jimmy crushed an entire bottle of tequila and ate a lot of tacos gavi line. And then next morning I woke up feeling a little queasy. And you know, normally for me, I can choose like when I woke up when I wake up hungover at about 7 a.m., I can say, I make a uh dis- I make it up in my mind whether or not I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> and it's not like involuntary it's like usually something i decide mm-hmm. so i decided i'm gonna throw up and once i cross that bridge where i say i'm going to throw up like if i don't throw up i'll just have the worst day of my life i'll be sick until 3 p.m so at that point once i get once i start trying to make myself throw up i have to throw up i threw up tacos gavilan and it was just I don't even want to say it on a podcast. It's so disgusting. But it was one of the most disgusting, violent, hot sauce. (laughs) Uh, It swelled my throat up. Like, it was just the worst experience of my life. Somehow. Yeah. And And now the worst part is I had about like three days worth of tacos, Gavilan leftovers. And I can never, I can't even look at it. Did, it, I'm, well, did the I'm, hot sauce I, burn your throat? Yeah, it burned my throat. I'm sorry that happened to you, Colin. Yeah. I'm sorry that happened to you. And Good I can day. say I've been through the same. I Was it that violent and disgusting? Well, I wasn't wasted. I, Taco's Gavilan is so poisonous, you don't have to be wasted <laughs> to puke it up, dude. I After we had it here, after we had it, when we when I helped for five seconds building that thing, went home and then like... I could just feel like a pressure like right below my my pecs. And this is, is a that, dude that eats donuts. Is that when I didn't eat? Yes. Yeah. You yes. Do- you dodged a fucking no. bullet, man. Yeah. No, that, I felt a pressure and I was like I was in yeah. denial about it, dude. I was like this like this sucks. Like I'm going to I'm I'm not going to puke though. Like this sucks. There's no way I puke. And then like eventually it just like kind of passes a threshold and you're like Oh shit! Like I was in the I was in the shower just like, uh, 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 and then I'm like fuck it, and I just like whip open the bath curtain and I look at the toilet and I just, you know when you really have to puke like it doesn't take anything like as soon as the fingers make contact it's just er- eruption and I like puked like two or three times like full size, and and that was it. And I was like thank God that's over, but it was like straight up my body just like rejected it. There was no, it was never getting digested. It came out basically as a wrapped burrito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What happened to me? Tacos, He's puking f- <laughs> just straight up tacos. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, Full tacos. It, just most, mostly just hot sauce for some reason. <laughs> it's just, you must have been drunk just not tasting it, just, just dousing that shit in was, hot sauce. He was eating hot sauce packets like Gogurt. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. I wonder if it's just the meat or something. Cause John, I had a veggie burrito. Oh, veggie. A veggie there's, burrito. Something, there's something well, f- funky about that place, dude. Mm. There's something funky. Okay. I, you I'm don't, not going to argue for I, I'm it not even arguing with you right now. Today. There's no more argument. Well, they throw, what's closed. the deal? They throw in a free burrito? No, no. <laughs> well, okay, here's what happened. Yeah, Let me give you They've the full story right now. Let me give you Get the full it. story, Chase. Okay. We went to this a lot, I don't know, maybe two, three months ago. I'm at Colin's house. We're watching football or a movie or something. I don't know. There's like an Uber Eats code, and it's Tacos Gavilan. I've never had it before. Tacos Gavilan gets there. I do not like it. I'm like, I don't like this place, blah, 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 whatever. Then on a podcast episode, I am kind of talking shit on Tacos Gavilan, and Colin Mm. snaps. He's like, just shut the fuck up, or something like that. And he did not like Tacos Gavilan being questioned. Oh, I called it movie theater. It's like if Mexican, if you got Mexican food at a movie theater. (laughs) Um and then Disgusting. I've been I've been tr- like scared into silence about Tacos Gavilan, <laughs> and like a week and a half ago uh, ish, 
while that shit is getting built, there's another Uber Eats situation. I give Tacos Gavilan another chance. <laughs> it makes me puke the you same. You enjoyed it, though. I, I was eating you enjoyed it, and the I was burrito. like, hey, this isn't half bad. Yeah, you enjoyed the until, burrito. Until, until two good. hours later, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm puking it up, and then I'm like... Uh, neither of these guys get sick, which I'm just like, that is I, fucked dude, up. I work so we the same hard. Thing. Yeah, we I got the same so exact thing. That, that food just tasted delicious. Anyway, mm -hmm. I it get sick. Good. They don't get sick. I'm like, what the fuck? This is a conspiracy. And now we're here. This shit would kill a British guy. Is like, you know, that meme that <laughs> oh, like, like a, a, yeah, it's a, like a, a fucking a, an airhead would kill like a fucking 17th century farm worker. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Our Doritos nacho cheese <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> would, would kill a surf. Apparently, they stopped serving McDonald's in Iceland in 2008, and they have the last uh, Happy Meal in a glass container, glass really? case, and it still has no mold on it. <laughs> yeah. Probably because it's frozen. In 2008. The, That's Greenland. Uh, Greenland's it's like, fossil, it's like fossilized. Iceland's um, I'd rather yeah. eat McDonald's, dude. Uh, I will say this: for all of the shit that I've gotten about filet fishes in my life, ew, I've never <laughs> had a bad experience from a filet o fish. That's fucked up, dude. I'm not not once filet o fish. Yeah, dude. And I don't you know eat what fish if, anywhere the more people, than fifteen minutes in off the coast. All right, Chase, well, shut the fuck up. I get that. There's there's cars yeah. that can take. It's true, dude. There's a fucking Michelin starred sushi restaurant in Palm Springs, and I went. That's it's too far. You can't trust you. it. It's too far. Okay, I, I went to Mexico Springs. with the with to the middle of Vegas, Mexico. Vegas, uh, they get like a lot of shit sent in there every day. But if it's like a smaller town, you're like, I don't know, like what these people probably don't want to get rid of their old fish. Nah, you want to go avocado roll. I went, um, I went to Mexico to like the middle of Mexico with this local from that's from there, and he was all, yeah, you'll probably get sick, you know, like gringo can't handle the food, and then can't handle the he takes this senorita to a fish place there to this fish market dinner place where we just went to get micheladas mm -hmm. and great micheladas but they also served fish and i was like never eat there that's it's six hours from either coast you know and he takes his chick on a date and he's sick throwing up for like three days after that <laughs> and ever since then i only eat 15 minutes or closer to the ocean all right what's on the to-do list johnny I, I just threw it at joa what was on it? I, I wrote down Lil Xan. Just because I love that song. Xan's gonna take you. Xan's gonna fade you. Xan's gonna hang you. Xan's gonna betray you. It tastes like Skittles. Tattoo Magazine. Conspiracy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Do we need it? Should we save conspiracy? Should we save conspiracies, Chase? Or do you want to? We've done a good amount. We're in an hour and a half right now. No, did you prepare them? Because I told Chase I want him to prepare like his pitch for his donut earth theory. Donut earth? Yeah, he thinks the earth is hollow like a fucking. I will take another donut, though. What eat flavor? the blue one. You eat want the blue one? Eat the blue one. 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 Blue. 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 So much joy from others. It's normal. The blue one's normal. The blue one feels a little stale. The blue one has been sitting out there for some time. It's not artificial blue. Zan's going away. All right. And her pussy tastes like Skittles. What? We can do a full chase conspiracy theories in the future if people like you. If they don't like you, you were never going to see you again. Do if if something's important, then say it now. You know what? Yeah. What's your number one? If you've got if you've got a conspiracy theory. That the world is shaped like a donut. Like, these are easy to debunk on YouTube when there's an expert with a superiority complex. 
But just in front of a couple of uh, guys, you know, who don't know anything, I'm like to believe it. there's a chance that you win us over. I don't know about Johnny because Johnny's like Johnny's a ty- type of guy to have like, those. I've watched 18 debates on this. Johnny already. would have like one of those fucking signs in front of his house that's like, "In this house, we believe in science, gay marriage, and <laughs> equal rights." I, was, I he's, saw he's one, of one of those the other day when I was going. Uh, I'm to. It, it was actually. Uh, Manson's neighbor had uh-huh. one of those signs in front of his house, and I always, just thought it was like it's always the like the interesting richest juxtaposition. People, yeah, the richest in in, well, in Silver Lake, it, dude. It, it has like a. It's like we believe in all the shit, and it's like water is for everyone or something. Like water, <laughs> like water Water's should be like, free. Is a right or yeah, something yeah, like that. Something yeah, yeah. like that. It's just yeah. so. Okay. So, oh, okay. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna start by saying I think flat earthers are like. Mostly people who never went to college that are it's probably trying true. to have like everything flipped upside down because they regret or like they wish they had they somehow are trying to like prove that they're smart and they're everyone else is to, like, yeah, like the real like college doesn't teach you any yeah, real I'm actually like, the guy that's right. <laughs> But I don't believe in flat Earth. I believe in a hollow Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Just hell in the middle. Is that what you believe? I believe there's a an, an entrance and the poles. <laughs> there's two entrances, well, multi, many entrances. That's why it's a donut. The globe, all around the globe, fucking flat Earthers, bitches. <laughs> there's entrances to the hollow Earth all around it's the globe. The main round. ones. You can't pr- prove that it's solid though. Main ones being in Antarctica, and then you think the Nazis there. went there? What the Nazis? What there's, du- there's dudes at in Antarctica look now. Up oper- look up Operation Paperclip and so Admiral like- Bird. <laughs> <laughs> look up Operation Paperclip. <laughs> So is that like a know. fun ice slide that you take? That takes D- you but, well, but it's green. Admiral There's greenery. Bird in his diary said as he flew over Antarctica that all of a sudden the ice went away and there was greenery and woolly mammoth. Okay, so there's a book and a with hole. Operation Paperclip, and uh, the cover is a big swastika. <laughs> He, yeah, because that's where the Nazis went to. Yeah, and then the, the, the Allies said... Can I, can I read this? Yeah, read it. Sorry. Operation Paperclip was a United States intelligence program in which more than 1,600 German scientists, engineers, and technicians were taken from the former Nazi Germany to the U.S. for government employment after the end of World War II in Europe between 1945 and 1959. Oh, wait, different operation. Yeah. <laughs> I think, weren't you going to say that they put these Nazis in uh, uh, Antarctica? Operation High Jump. Or wait, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Paperclip? Y- well, where, where else would you want the scientists wait, read to Read that, my link together. Uh, it kind of ends. Many of these Germans were former members of the Nazi party. Um, look up Operation and they don't say Hydra. why we needed them. Operation what? Hold on. High jump, apparently. Yeah. And this is why you need to pitch us, I think. I'm kind of down for or this. Look up Admiral but Bird. I also didn't go to college. Admiral Bird. Do you, do you ever think Richard that he just Bird. flew over Antarctica into somewhere that was No, his normal? ship got taken down by UFOs, and he met the leader. Um, Of course. What a snitch. Um, he had a base in Antarctica. You need to set up like like write notes, write a, make a PowerPoint presentation or something. Your boobs fell off, Colin. No, those are a different pair of boobs. Operation High Jump. Look up Operation High Jump. Okay. H I G J G H Jump. <laughs> Operation <laughs> High. You're like Why? drunk off donuts right now. Why, <laughs> Why did they say? Okay. Uh, Operation Eat High. Donut. Donut. Listen. Eat another donut. Listen. Officially titled the United States Navy Antarctica Developments Program, 1946 to 47, also called Task Force 68, was the United States Navy operation to establish the Antarctic Research Base Ooh. Little America 4. The operation was organized by Rear Admiral Richard E. Byrd. Um, blah, blah, blah. More shit. Let's see. Uh, 
how many Pi- rear admiral? How many people did like they send pirate. to Antarctica? Uh, I don't know. It just said the people who. Uh, uh, and they like, sent oh, 4,700 men, 70 ships, and 33 aircraft. 70 ships and 30, yeah, for research. Okay. They went <laughs> looking for the Nazis that all disappeared the, into the <laughs> center of the earth. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, high jumps objective, according to the U.S. Navy reports of the operation, were well, training personnel and testing equipment in frigid conditions. Yeah, let's send... Of that giant of a fleet of warriors. Consolidating and extended extending the United States sovereignty over the largest practice practicable area of the Antarctic continent, publicly denied as a goal before the expedition ended. Determining the feasibility of establishing, maintaining, and utilizing bases in the Antarctic and investigating possible base sites. Developing techniques for establishing, maintaining, and utilizing air bases on ice with particular attention to later applicability of such techniques to operations in interior Greenland where conditions are comparable to those in Antarctic. There's two more bullet points. (laughs) Amplifying existing stores of knowledge of electromagnetic, geological, geographic, hydrographic, and meteorological propagation conditions in the area. Supplementary objectives Boring. of the Nanook <laughs> expedition, a smaller equivalent conducted this, this off is eastern how they Greenland. Found Optimus Prime, I'm dude. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, yeah. So that the whole the whole boring thing that you just said is like so. The whole thing about like conspiracy theories is like people are just like the truth is the way truth is so boring, too boring and and complicated. Yeah. Like, and no, hard to understand no, much of the time. It's a yeah. lie. It's his story, not our her, story. Her story. <laughs> not true story. It's his story. Whoever history is written by the winners. Okay. What happened so to the, the losers? The, the, the Nazis a, were going to tell us all the truth. <laughs> well, Admiral Byrd <laughs> tried to, but he was. What were those Nazis trying to tell us? <laughs> Look to the losers for the truth. <laughs> I think it's known what they were trying to tell everybody. You think, you think Hitler was actually killed? They fa- they <laughs> they they tested the skull and it was of a it was like a female skull, the one that That was probably his wife. It. No, that <laughs> Rita no. von Braun was, was a separate Chase, here's separate here's what I, right now, right now you're like you're talking you to guys. me. <laughs> you're talking to me, Chase, like I'm a fellow conspirator conspiracy theorist yeah, appreciator so you're like you actually think it was hitler who died i'm like i don't yeah it sounds yeah. like there's okay, 80 things they could, you hitler researched could, hitler could have lived i mean they could have just said he was dead for pr if he like went missing and they like wanted the war to be they over. they could have but they probably wanted him dead also yes but i think that probably would well, have been important like they wanted yeah. osama pretty because he escaped to argentina you know there's there's uh <laughs> Right. Hundreds of thousands of Germans Hitler, in Argentina. Well, if some of them escaped, yeah. Why would okay. yeah, there's be able tons to. of Germans because yeah, a lot they of Nazis to fled to Argentina. Yeah. So, why, so why wouldn't Hitler, Hitler have been be, Why wouldn't have Hitler? But why? Why does it make sense for Hitler to not be amongst those that exactly. managed to escape Germany? Okay, yeah, because he did escape. Oh, oh, what, well, who cares? I don't, I'm, I'm. We're talking I conspiracy mean, theories. If you hate the guy a lot, you might care, Johnny. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, trying to look for some specifics. Look, we should find him and interview him. <laughs> <laughs> that would go viral. Um, okay, okay. So we found I him. think I think she should pitch us. Can I? There's an evidence thing right here. Should I? You want? Should yeah. I? Yeah. Okay. At the end of 1945, Stalin ordered a second commission to investigate Hitler's death, in part to investigate rumors of Hitler's survival. On the 30th of May, 1946, part of a skull was found ostensibly in the crater where Hitler's remains had been exhumed. It consists of part of the occipital bone and part of both parietal bones. The nearly complete left parietal bone has a bullet hole, apparently an exit wound. Um, I guess that's proof that he... Did die? I thought he chewed a cyanide capsule. I thought it was cyanide as well. Chase, what? How? Which one was? He didn't it? die. <laughs> I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> he escaped. He faked his death. 
Uh, same with Epstein. Same with freaking everyone. All right, the Epstein's the Epstein one's a little weird that he was in that cell with the the webcam, and then the webcam happened to not it, it see wasn't the part. like it was working right before the webcam. Okay, went, so they put him in it a went cell. Out actually, fifteen minutes before no, he died. No, no, it, 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 no. It, but dude, come it on, was out for weeks. You're gonna okay, okay. but you're gonna That's put the, the you're gonna put Epstein in a cell with a fucking webcam that doesn't work. Come on! All like I'm pretty sure like that's all, your... most of the webcams don't work. Dude, work. get the fuck out of here! Oh, okay, that's yeah. The most like wanted man it's, in that's a... gaslighting. It's true. It's the no, truth. Because... No, the that's, most that's wanted man in America. That. The most wanted Actually, most man in the America. They're like just don't work. Oh, and the guy who has the most dirt on anybody yeah, in fucking exactly. U.S. history. I, like, I, let's put him in a cell yeah, where we can't see what he's doing. Yeah, that's their and like, say the webcam's that's like the broken. Biggest fucking cat. I don't know if he's alive have... or dead. I think it's more likely they killed him. Have yeah, oh, yeah, him? that's For what sure. I, think. I think. That's more. I think they put him in there like on purpose with a camera. Like I don't think he's alive. I think he's probably yeah, dead. Probably. I think they murdered him. Probably. probably. I don't, I don't know about that, but I think they probably murdered him. Have Come you guys on. seen the Epstein uh, George Washington picture? <laughs> 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 is, is Epstein George, George Washington, Washington actually? Is, is, no, is George Washington no. on Epstein Island? Jo- Wait, they want to cancel George Washington. George Washington never died. No, they have this thing where he's just been molesting all children celebrities are like reincarnated. Like there's, uh, they will show some picture, some old picture from like the 1700s, and it looks exactly like Kanye or something, but it's like a slave. Or like, <laughs> well, yeah. People that, pro- people probably look like other people yeah. at some point in time. There's a lot of people, you know. No, but this is like I'm not part of this conspiracy theory. But it's like oh, every you're not part of this person, one? every so like, famous person. So do you just is like reincarnated? How do you find them? Like what's your what's your process? Like do they find you the these, conspiracies, yeah, they, or do you find they them? They think I'm like gonna buy their products or something like chase you so send me nice. all the all the the most but where do you retarded go fucking conspiracy theory, the, they the government doesn't want you to know about this compound <laughs> if you eat this every day your balls will grow twice in size and you'll mm-hmm. be able to think twice as hard as the average you know human what? i miss the good old I, I think we've talked about this before but i remember being like 13 being in my friend's tree house and we had the Illuminati kid like fr- on the yeah. block come oh, by hell yeah. and tell you about the what the Illuminati is. This is before the fucking you know TikTok told everybody the reverse everything. lyric. Yeah, before yeah. everybody yeah. became Jay-Z. a conspiracy theorist. Nobody knew what the fucking Illuminati was like when I was it's, thirteen. It's like <laughs> so, yeah. and it's like, did you hear that? I'll play it again. I love the devil, devil, nice. I love the devil. <laughs> Dude, that's one of the stupidest things I've ever seen. I I, I think Chase is... You're like George Washington also. Chase is like the classic (laughs) Illuminati. (laughs) You're like a campfire. Will you send that to me? Yeah, screenshot Yeah, send it to me. You're like a campfire type conspiracy theorist. In old, you're an old soul in that. Sense. Oh no, Joe, he's not dumb. He, he said he doesn't belong to this conspiracy theory. Yeah, I, I I don't subscribe to all of them. <laughs> you don't have to just believe the all donut of them. earth theory. No, uh-huh. no. What, so, hey, yeah, don't yeah. joke around okay. about that one. Chase, oh. the thing that I really, really want to know. That, so there's this uh, tiny sun in in inside the earth. Also, that's what some people believe. <laughs> But yeah, what, do, what do you believe? I don't know. That sounds crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah it does. If, but, if God is real, <laughs> anything's possible. That's true. That's facts. That's straight up facts. B. And uh, That's as far as I'm concerned, God is dead because the de- I prayed for the Detroit Lions. That's to true. Win for God for for sake has I got forsaken on my us knees twice. And I, I did this thing. I did the. When we were watching football and they all run to the end zone and pray before the game starts, mm-hmm. I was like, dude, that is the coolest thing ever. I need well, to you know what's going to happen like is that. actually what God is doing is he's putting all the annoying... I know, he's testing us. No, no, he's so he's hard. putting all the annoying people in one place and then the Joker is going to blow up the football dude, stadium I, like I he have, does in Batman. Oh. <laughs> I have been praying that, that would be cool. the 49ers yeah, get in a bus accident. Remember the fucking floor Look, falls like, out in yeah. the stadium? I've seen, I've seen 
seen this happen, Patrick Mahomes is going to be running slightly faster than the earth crumbling below him, <laughs> and he's going to escape. It's going to be fucking annoying. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I don't watch football. I saw him today, and he like his helmet is like so far... Up on top Dude, of his everything head. about he's him step, is he's the step three of the NFL. He's oh always God, crying dude. to the refs. Like, fucking like, hate Steph. He's Curry. a crybaby. He's a loser. I hate him. <laughs> dude, you're, you're, you're doing like a sick Trump impression right now. <laughs> he's I'm a so crybaby. <laughs> he's a loser. Johnny I hate him. Every football game. Johnny's been wow. watching football like religiously. Mm-hmm. I watched them on the TV today. I stream East Airplay to the TV. Yeah, and I was like, I was. It was a Sunday vibe. I was chilling. Yeah, it's Dude, a good vibe. Football's the best. It was a good. It's 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 a, it's a, a good Sunday. vibe to just have That's sports why this, on. Chase, your dad played for Stanford, right? He did. Yep. His dad was a the quarterback running for Stanford. Run, running, running back. back? Yeah. I thought he was quarterback <laughs> for some reason. Oh, running wow. back for Stanford. Uh, I got injured. I got hog dead. Survived though. No, my my dad actually didn't want me to play football. He like thought it was. Oh good. my god, this is a topic. Once Johnny gets back, this is we can take a two second break. But when Johnny gets back, this will be our last topic. What is it? You'll see. You will see. Football. <sighs> football. One football. more donut. How many have you had? I have my fifth. Face me counting. <laughs> your machine. I you're, wasn't. When it's donut night, it's donut night. You're dude. like me when I was 12. Like, I don't know if I told that story on here either, but like, when I was 12, I used to just go to my dad's quarter jar and just get as much money as I could get, like, within two minutes of sticking my fingers in the quarter jar and then just go to the donut shop. I get one more. Eat two. Okay. Give him the blue so, one. So, give him the blue one. The blue so, give him the blue one, John. Here's our final topic. So Johnny's got this new nephew. Oh, fuck. It's a cool... Should I grab him? Get the, <laughs> get the baby. Um, so we love this kid. We've been saying since... We've been saying for months, ever since we found out he had giant themers yeah. when he was in the womb. He's we a big... Said, this femurs? baby... He was in the 90th percentile or something for a femur length in the womb. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So so the kids got big themers. You know what? We, we, we were thinking, that's the next quarterback of the Dallas, Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. And we, we were thinking about names for the baby. The one that really stuck for me was quarterback. Mm-hmm. I wanted to name the baby quarterback. That's not a human name. <laughs> <laughs> it is for this baby. Wait, um, is it a dog name? <laughs> no, could be. So there's like been there's been this whole alien. Th- like we've been saying for since this baby was like three months in the womb that this baby's going to be a quarterback. quarterback. We, we manifested. And like last week, Johnny texted me that Ash, the baby's mom, said no football for the no baby. football. She said her kids are not allowed to play football. I said over my dead body. So we're, this just sounds like the beginning of like a, a nice like drama, like yeah. a movie. It's like when he was a kid, mom said no football. Yeah, I'm gonna have to could, like sneak you him. You could not part. She you could not get him away I, I from like, that football I like a, field. Mm. She had to stop him from playing football because he was hurting other kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have That's to like the kind of baby this is. Train mm. him in 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 secret, you know, like. And just fucking... She's like pulling into the driver. You're like, oh shit, put away the cones. Put away the, we, yeah. When we built our pull-up bar, we said, this pull-up bar will be there when that baby decides to get buff. Yeah. Which could be in <laughs> pretty be fast. Based on my projections. Who's that Snapchat from? Open the Snapchat on camera. Beirut. No. Be- no. <laughs> my nephew. Oh. Gavin. Oh, I know oh, Gavin. Gavin. Oh, he FaceTimed me today. It, I was about to take a nap, didn't... I have the energy. Sorry, he's Gavin. not gonna listen to this, is he? I don't know. Why? No, no reason. <laughs> you have secrets? Should I, should no. I not pick it up. Or no. Open it. Um, should I open it? it yeah. Don't so matter. He's baby. he's extremely pro Palestine. Like very vocal. He's like a very. He's an activist. I feel like most people are kind of, but. Sheeple. Most people that are vocal are pro Palestine. What? Just save it for after the pod. Yeah. 
Gavin is definitely a political dude. Yeah. Like, very vocal. Pas- passionate. Yeah, vocal. Opinionated. Opinionated and vocal. On his stance. There's almost he almost like doesn't talk to his parents anymore because he's so Damn. righteous in his <laughs> righteous. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's what college has done to the youth. God. Yeah. That's why you should get into the trades, what, guys. What you, next, if you want a healthy relationship for with your Trump. parents, get in the trades. <laughs> what should our next dress-up episode be? Ugh. I'll be a fucking Yum Yum Donuts employee. He says, built a little Discord music bot that can... He's like a tech guy, like coder. Built a little Discord music bot that can handle voice text. It's called the Cumbot. I don't like that. I don't think cum is funny. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Big uh, hater of cum. Cum humor is like yeah. one of the least funny things in the world. Dude, I watched I a, a moist critical video the other day. Means. Dude, he's so washed. It was it's so odd. He li- he just sits there and then uh so the biggest clone no, in the no, he he sits there. This the biggest, this guy's he just reads off a fucking of off a we Google should kill doc. Him. He reads off a of Google Doc. It was so funny. He he's he's talking about a rap battle. He's like, oh, this like between some dumb ladies, the uh, white ladies, and he's like, this girl was spitting more flames than Spyro. God damn man. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> we should kill him Mort, in real Mort, life. <laughs> Mort Dog, the developer guy that does TFT. He made a video about the. I didn't even finish the video, but he was talking about Pal World drama and he at the beginning of the video he's like the reason i'm making this video is because i'm really sick of these trending videos where people just like regurgitate the three most popular tweets he's like this mm-hmm. is a terrible trend and i was like this is cool that like an actual developer guy is just you know talking shit on these commentator people who just fucking say absolutely nothing like this is bad people are mad about this so this happened on x today i hate Let's, All right, I think we should it. wrap. Yeah, we should. Once we get bad. to X, we need to fucking stop. And I, I don't like rain energy and what it's done to my sense. Have you tried? Body. Mine I, I'm no, enjoying it. I don't want to I, try. I'm it. seeing see what it did to more like dimensions than I normally do. Please <laughs> just have a sip of this. I don't fucking want it. I don't like. These. <laughs> they don't even have flavors. They don't. They can just I, say amino. Can I feel that? All right, have a sip of that. Guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. Let me let me play us out. Shout out to Ranch Spirits. Uh, thank, thank you, you Ranch for, Spirits. I, I want to say thank you to the geniuses for having me tonight. Oh, dude, that's so what? nice. Nope. What the <laughs> fuck? Done no great, one's done that before. Great chilling with you guys. Yeah, that you too, great. man. Love you. Oh, wow. Guys, I've known off. Chase since work for, uh, the day I was born. <laughs> Chase, yeah. you'll be back. Bro. You'll be back. Yeah, you're, you're welcome on here every once well, in a while. Well, we'll wait and see what they say. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching World Genius TV hey. <laughs> yeah. And her pussy tastes like Skittles oh, right? yeah. Hey yo You can really taste the rainbow uh, It's like a therapy uh, This is time of cereal you can ride on the table, live your life in the world. Heart shaped kisses, I really miss my mistress. <laughs>